Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a look at the forecast, which does include, yes, it's hard to believe, sunshine. It's been so long since we've been seeing that uh, into the area. We're going to begin to see, again, some fairly quiet conditions into around much of the rest of the Mid-South for the rest of the day today. We continue, again, to see some fairly quiet conditions into around much of the area for right now. Fog has not been too much of a problem at this point point. So good news on that. It is a little bit chilly out there for this morning, so definitely want to think about a jacket or a coat out there before you head out the door because we are seeing again some pretty chilly conditions uh, into much of the Mid-South for this morning. We'll take a look at traffic coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, again, check out the information scrolling there on that side of the screen as we see, again, some fairly quiet conditions on travel. As per usual, the morning commute is slowed down and backed up in certain areas, so not doing too bad out there for an early morning in Shelby County. But again, if you are traveling, that's going to be something to take a look at there. That might be something that can be concerned with if you are heading down the roadway pretty soon. Let's go ahead and get our Facebook viewers in here and get everybody updated as to what's going on for this morning. It's again a quiet start to right now. Not really seeing again too much to worry about. Plenty of sunshine across the area from Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis. Not too many golfers out just yet, but the grounds crew is out and about for this morning. So we are seeing, again, a little bit more sunshine out there than what we've seen today. This is along uh, Winchester Road in southeast Memphis on the Weatherbug system. Likewise, lots of beautiful blue skies in and around the area of Germantown at City Hall. And looking at the camera, looking off toward the north and west, you can just see the area around Clark Towers and the Poplar and Mendenhall off there in the distance out there. More of our Weatherbug cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more about what's going on out there. Ray Radar not showing a lot, but what it is showing is pretty interesting when you take a look at it. The blobs on screen, they're going from northwestern Fayette County down to the southwest and also around south parts of Mississippi County into around just past West Memphis, Arkansas. Those are flocks of birds. You can actually see them. There's actually a whole bunch of them if you take a look at uh, some of those echoes making their way down toward the south and to the east. So we are seeing some more flocks of birds out there, a lot of them migrating and heading on down toward the Gulf of Mexico. So at least we do see, again, the a uh, little bit more of some great flocks of birds out there, but we don't see too much of anything across the Mid-South where it comes to rainfall at this time. That has gone and going to continue to be, again, some dry conditions into the course of the next couple of days. Good news on that. Weekend, that can be a little bit of a situation. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Bozo Wolfolk, welcome from Senatobia. Thanks for getting up with us this morning. Randy Adams, big orange thing in the sky. I know, it's incredible. It's nice to get some uh, actual daylight in here for just a little bit instead of using the fluorescence that we use for my wife's selling shop in the, the uh, dining room here at House Onik. So a little bit of nice natural light out there. More clouds on the way. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Traffic for this morning, as usual, if you are heading out the door, the usual hot spots are the big problems out there with, again, the traffic concerns mainly going into and around the area of Germantown Parkway between there and the flyover. Looks like we've got a situation of something stuck on the roadway uh, around I-40 and Witten Road, and that's causing, as per usual, a lot of decent uh, congestion out that direction or so. Also down to around the area of, it looks like Hacks Cross, Riverdale, 385, good back up there, and it looks like maybe a car is off to the side of the roadway, possibly. And, of course, the area around uh, Pleasant Run Road and Tuggle into around the area of uh, Lamar and going on down South Highway 78 down to about maybe 14 miles per hour around Tuggle Road, 13 miles per hour down around East Holmes Road for this morning. A uh, little bit of construction closed construction going on, stop traffic, Highway 51 uh, south between Commerce Road and Highway 306, and the usual backups as well on Sam Cooper, Buena Vista uh, Road on Poplar is down to about 10 miles per hour, so that could be a little bit of a problem there. Randy Adams, thanks very much for stopping on by. Hope you're enjoying the day today so far. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, nothing to speak of at this point, not seeing anything in the way of problems uh, from anything seismic overnight or from the last 24 hours, so very quiet there. More of our weather bug cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams, including some nice views of Heidelberg Elementary. 
in Clarksdale this morning. Blue skies, Old Glory waving proudly, car rider lines stacking up, getting kids to school this morning. And also, likewise, just down the road in Old Miss territory, around the area close to Oxford, Mississippi. Beautiful sunshine this morning and blue skies above the campus out there. Brenda Howell Harper, welcome to the show from Bartlett. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, for this morning. Visible satellite picture, large missing. Let me turn that around so you can see that a little bit better. A nice chunk of hardly anything to report in the sky. Not that much going on out there where it comes to anything involving uh, cloud cover. You can see the cloud line from around Nashville back down to around middle parts of Mississippi, so things looking a lot quieter here. Temperatures across the Mid-South. Well, let's see, that's not the thing I was hoping to show you there. Uh, this is the really cool thing to have around. It's the enhanced data display to where you can choose a lot of different functions on here to talk about what's going on with the weather. Do your own weather forecast if you wanted to. Probably shouldn't tell you that, but in the meantime, you definitely have a neat tool to help plot what goes on out there when it comes to weather. Temperatures in the Mid-South area, again, it's a bit on the brisk side for this morning. We've got temperatures back into around the uh, mid to upper 40s in some locations and mid to upper 30s as well. 46 degrees being reported at Memphis International Airport. 39 degrees this morning. Uh, around the reporting station in Earl, Arkansas, and 38 degrees at Gilt Edge. So a little bit on the brisk side out there, but that'll be warming up nicely into the course of the rest of the day today. So jacket, maybe even a light coat for this morning would not be a bad idea. Fog, not a problem. Widespread hazardous weather chances are low at this point in time, so we don't have, again, a lot going on, and no dense fog advisories in effect for the Mid-South area. Matter of fact, nothing in effect for the Mid-South area at this time. Let's take a look and see where our next cold front is going to be arriving. This is going to be heading our direction into the next couple of days. Matter of fact, as we head into tonight, it's going to be just north of us by noon and making its way into the Mid-South as we head into around dinner time tonight. By midnight, it'll be creeping just south of the area, and that's going to allow a little bit of extra cold air to make its way into the Mid-South, coming right on down from Canada and keeping things very cool. And then right after that, our next storm system, courtesy of the Gulf of Alaska arrives into the Mid-South. That'll be coming in from off the Rockies, and that could be, again, giving us the potential of some showers as we go into the weekend, which could spell some problems for the area when it comes to anything going on with uh, Veterans Day activities outdoors, so something to consider there if you have any plans for outdoors. High temperatures today, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, very pleasant. Rainfall chances have gone. Low temperatures into tonight around freezing, close to around Dyersburg, Jackson, and into northwest Tennessee, so that could be, again, a little bit on the chilly side. Uh, south of Memphis and the metro, back in the mid to upper 30s or so across much of the area. Rounding out the work and or school week, high temperatures on Friday back in the lower 50s. That's that cold front dropping into the area as we go into the course of the rest of the forecast for tomorrow. Now, Friday night, as we get into uh, Friday night football, heading out of the town, whatever it is you're going to be doing, temperatures by the time the games kick off will be back in the lower to mid 40s in areas north of Interstate 40, south of I-40, not quite as bad, but you also combine that with a breeze coming in out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, and we're talking about some very chilly conditions out there, but no rain to worry about. Highs on Veterans Day, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, and again, a big thank you to all the veterans out there for everything you've done for wearing the uniform. It should be good for outdoor ceremonies and parades and prayer services and things like that going on for whatever you've got out there. Unfortunately, as we go into Saturday night, there will be more chances of showers starting to move into the area. That's that green that you see on screen with the RW minus indicators showing minor showers possible dropping into the area, but not really much more than that. And high temperatures on Sunday, not all that warm, 50s and 60s, and there will be uh, chances of rain, about a 20 to 30 percent chance, even 40 percent chance up around Dyersburg as we get into Sunday. So back to rain chances as we go into this weekend. Astronomy, not much you can see tonight in the way of satellites. However, if you would like to be able to try to see an iridium flare take place, that'll be happening just past 6.05 tonight, and it'll be dropping downwards toward the area of the northern horizon. 
and you're looking again a little bit back toward the uh, northwest. The North Star, look up and to the right of that, and you'll be able to see the uh, Iridium satellite brightly reflecting sunlight for just a few seconds. And then back again, that'll be happening at about 6.05 later on tonight through the constellation of Cassiopeia. We'll make certain that we post more about that coming up later on tonight. More about the forecast, please join me on my Facebook page. Tons of weather information available there. Also available on my uh, Twitter account as well, twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. Interesting report from the United Nations Environmental Project about more companies who are decarbonizing their business and working their way toward less carbon footprint, and that's actually paying off in the long run when it comes to the bottom line. So starting to reject fossil fuels and carbonization of the atmosphere is paying off for a lot of businesses around the world. We just need to bring that into motion uh, here in the United States. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about that, the weather reports, satellite pictures, uh, all kinds of other stuff going on. Check out my Twitter page. It's all available at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WRAG3. And check me out on uh, Periscope as well, where you can watch me watching me watching me. So that's kind of cool to see that going on. More information, again, available there. And, of course, if you need the forecast, all you have to do is just drop by uh, wreg.com slash weather uh, for more details there. That's the seven-day forecast. Todd Demers put that together, and that's available again on our Facebook page and also on our main page at wreg.com slash weather. And, of course, just started a few seconds ago, Bob and Josh on with Talk Back Live, 8 to 10 a.m., mainly sports chat, but also news, weather, community events, all kinds of neat stuff. If you can't listen on air, Listen online at TalkBackLiveNetwork.org. Great way to stay informed in the Mid-South and great way to get your morning going on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh. That'll do it for this morning's edition of News Channel 3's video, exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Go out and get yourself your favorite morning beverage. Thanks for joining us for this morning. And stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day.